Packages are here. All right, let's take this over to the table. Let's get into it. Yeah, I'm gonna need my knife for this. Oh, there it is. It opened up on the table. Is that bad? Let's do it. Remember, whenever you're unboxing things like this, you can uh, keep the box and like, go for some value someday. Actually, you know what? We don't need the this and this right now. Those are just the batteries and chargers, so I'm just gonna take those off. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Uh, so first, we got controller. This is the reveal. You guys can see it before I do. How does it look? Oh. Okay. Right off the bat, this thing is huge. I mean, I knew videos and stuff were saying how big this thing is, but I really didn't think it was that big. Holy crap. Very handy styrofoam. I will put this to the side. Oh my goodness. Actually, hold on. We gotta get this cover off. Oh, it just goes. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. We don't need this paper. Actually, I'm gonna bring out a plastic one-tenth scale e revo Duratrax Evader. Like, this thing towers it. I am blown away by how big this thing is. We have the TQI remote with the uh, multifunctional uh, TSM, sorry, from the Traxxas that they sell. Comes with basic, you know, adjustments and stuff. All right, let's get into the car for a second. Right off the bat, uh, this thing, I believe is like 11 pounds or close to 12 pounds. The thing is, is that you're probably not gonna be able to carry this thing all around just as much as like a Duratrax Evader or a Rustler or a Slash for that matter. All right, so let's get into a couple of the features uh, of this thing. So uh, right off you see here, it has the clipless body system where you just twist this, take it, and you take it off revealing the engine. Now, this thing does have a roll cage, and it does have the self-writing feature that uh, Traxxas has been selling on uh, their Rustler 4x4 and their E-Revo, and they've also been selling it, I believe, on, I believe on the Max as well. First of all, we've got giant tires. It has a giant 1 8 scale motor. I don't understand why Traxxas calls this thing 1 10th scale, even though it is very much 1 8th scale because this thing is bloody huge. But I'd like to say the shock setup is quite nice. It really feels absorbent and it doesn't bottom out like it doesn't, uh, it doesn't hit the table. Like this is as, as far as it'll go and it's uh, not hitting the table. I will say though, it does have a ton of travel, but when you drop this thing down, the whole thing kind of just sets a little bit, uh, which I guess kind of makes it low slung. Uh, dual battery compartments, uh, one on either side. <sighs> I'm just gonna show this one for now because I don't wanna turn this thing over. So this thing takes two batteries. It has the clipless body, it has self-riding, and it has TSM. Now I have to say this body looks so nice. Like Traxxas have been getting really good at their bodies. We're just gonna push this to the side and take a look at what's in your bag. Parts for I believe a servo stopper. Bunch of tools for taking stuff apart like tires and whatnot. We got stickers for numbers and stuff like a review card. UI, performance guide, instructions, uh, how to use chargers and stuff. The, th the thing about this is that it feels like a huge toy, and it is. Like, when you grab hold of this thing, you really feel the strength of it. Like, whenever I grab the dirt tracks, like, when you grab this thing, you think, you know, oh, you know, basic car, super lightweight, could take it anywhere. When you grab this thing, it's like a big, beefy toy. Like, you want to take this thing places. You want to see it do big jumps. With this thing, it's kind of like, uh, it feels kind of fragile, even though this is probably more durable because it's smaller. But um, even the tread design, like you see the tread design on the tires, they're very similar, but uh, even though they're two di very different companies. 
I like Traxxas because they've been around for like 26 years and I think after 26 years of doing RC stuff that they probably know what they're doing and know what people want at this point. And I have to say, I am very impressed with this. I mean, look at this thing. It's just a mean machine. And it just, it looks good from all angles and it looks huge. And I just can't get over it. This thing is so freaking big that it almost barely fits on the table. Even the box didn't fit on the table. Let's get this thing outside. I have to charge the batteries. Okay, dude, so I just got the charger on and now I'm about to put these batteries in. But I have to say, when you turn this thing on, it actually looks super cool. Like, the whole thing lights up and even these things do as well. All right, so we're gonna plug these in and then we will head outside. I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, got a remote set up, got all the batteries in, lipos are done. Let's go have some fun. Uh, I don't know how well this is gonna be um, on camera. I have uh, I have my phone set up to my uh, remote, but uh, let's watch it go down some stairs, shall we? Oh, it's got some nice suspension. Oh, that thing could fly some dirt. Wow. I have to say this thing. This thing actually looks super cool, especially in the sun. And it's really quiet too. For such a big vehicle, you think it'd be really loud. That's max throttle. Whew. All right. Let's try some jumping, shall we? I guess I can get over obstacles. Woo! Yeah, I can. Dang. Dude, this, this thing honestly is so nice. Like, driving this thing feels so smooth. And on throttle, it feels so nice. And I'm sorry if this is a little bit boring for you guys. This is my first drive with it. Let's watch this thing go into deep snow. Oh, does really well. <laughs> that was epic. I mean, it is a little bit slidey today. Um, it just snowed and it's also got some pretty bad ice. All right, let's try something. I'm gonna turn on the uh, TSM to see what happens. Oh, that's actually very interesting. So that was like half throttle. And that was on 50%. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this thing all the way down. Uh, I know you guys can't uh, see, but just from a start, let's see what happens. It gets all squirrely, which is very interesting. I mean, at least it works as like a, what it's supposed to be doing, right? It works really well. What else could we do? A lot of people say that these things are relatively durable, but I don't really want to crash mine right now because I literally just got it and uh, I want to have some fun with it. It, it. it can't actually go over this thing with, it needs a lot more speed, but like. Ooh. And it has four wheel drive too, which is nice. That was max throttle. Oh, got some mean drifts. This thing has, I'm assuming since it has a lot of weight, it actually slides really well and it doesn't actually want to flip over. Like, oh, 
And you know, the suspension feels so soft. Driving over obstacles, like, for example, there's a bump there. Watch as it goes over. And it's very low slung, which actually makes this thing very fast. But uh, I'm not getting much traction uh, on this ice. I mean, it's ice, guys, so it's not going to perform the best out of the box with ice. Okay, so what is my initial thought right now? My, my mind's going crazy right now because this thing feels so much fun. Like, I cannot express how much fun I'm having with this thing. I've never had a big monster truck or anything even relatively close to a monster truck, let alone this E-Revo. And I've never had anything big like this either. And driving this thing, it feels so smooth. Like, when you're on throttle, you can feel all the throttle, but it, it's so heavy that it has to carry itself over. Uh, all right, let's take it to something else. So, let's take this thing over, since this thing can handle relatively deep snow. It just takes like a champ. Oh my god! It's so nice! So, we're going to take it over here. We're gonna go over some stuff like this because I think we, we need to challenge this thing really well. We gotta get a run up on this thing. <laughs> oh, if I can get, keep up with this thing. Like, look at this. This suspension, the way it's just going over these bumps is super nice. It loves the snow. And you know what's interesting is that it doesn't drift around as much. I mean, it is four wheel drive, right? So it's not gonna drift as much because uh, it has a lot of control. But I got some pretty, like this stuff, in some points your whole knee could go in. But uh, let's just drive this thing over this tiny jump right here. Oh, <laughs> if I can get a good run up on it. You know, the thing is, is the vehicle is so heavy, is when it goes up, it takes it almost like a bump because it's not big enough. Like all my other RC cars, they would be going like up in the air and they'd be going like, um, I don't know, like at least two or three feet off the ground. But this thing, it's just so heavy that it doesn't let it go. And I think that's really interesting. I mean, we're also going to be t uh, we're testing out the waterproof feature a little bit, going through all the snow. But I have to say, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, we're going to give this a shot. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Oh, I want to do that again. <laughs> Let's try and get some control in the air. Oh. Her over. Dude, wow, did you see that? That control in the air. I'm just surprised. Like, look at this thing when it's in the air. Oh, well, if I wasn't flipping it all the time. Can't get it to do it again. I gotta get a little bit more experience with this, probably. Like, I have to say, this thing is so much fun. And the thing about it is, it's such a big machine. So we're up here now, and, uh, and jump it off this little lip and jump it down. All right, that was a good angle of this. LiPo batteries are pretty good as well. Reviewing the batteries. Do you see that? Wow. I don't want to die going down that thing. Wow, that thing got some air. And look at it, it's still fine. Let it sit in there in all of its glory. Oh, yeah. 
you can do anything with this thing. Like, I'm putting it through. Like, I am flipping this thing. And I, I, I'm i jumping this thing. And I'm taking it through some, like, really. This is, like, really deep snow. Let's see if the Uruvo sinks. Nope. Yeah, that's interesting. Look at that. Okay. My, my first thoughts of this is I love it. This thing is so much fun because when you drive it, it's just such a big machine. Like I said, like it's a big toy. It's got the big tires, big body, a big engine, big ASC, two batteries. This thing is so much fun. You give this to a kid, uh, I know that they have um, they have training modes that you can put on this thing. If you gave this to a kid, a kid would die in excitement. Like, I was driving it outside for about half an hour, or like 45 minutes, and I was just hitting jump after jump after jump. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. And here's the thing, if you guys are concerned about breaking it, if you're concerned about parts, if you're brand new to the hobby, maybe you'll go for a wrestler 4x4. But I would highly suggest reconsidering. Because here's the thing, guys. If you're going to spend the if you're gonna spend money on something that you love, it doesn't matter what it is. If something breaks and you enjoy what you do, you're going to spend that money either way. If this thing broke, like if whole if the whole entire chassis split apart. I would be willing to fix this thing no matter what the cost was. I would take this whole thing apart and I would fix it because I love what I do. I love driving this thing. Um, now, I don't know how true that is because this is the first time I've driven it, but I could tell that after driving this thing, if it broke or if something happened, I would probably just hop on and I would just get this thing fixed because you know what? It doesn't matter how much you spend or how big it is. If you enjoy what you love and if you enjoy what you do, you're gonna spend the money either way and you'll never spend a sad day in your life because you do something that you love. All the other RCs that I've driven, I've driven tons of RCs. I've never driven anything like this. But for a first time getting into this, I love it. I love this thing. Seeing this thing jump in the air, it is, it's, it's amazing. And it does it really well. It handles terrain really well. Like this, these tires have a ton, or the suspension has a ton of travel. Like, look at that. It has a ton of travel and it continues to impress me with that. It was going over bumps and it was really handling the train, staying well maintained within it. So guys, that is the review of the Traxxas E Revo 2.0. If you guys consider getting one or if you enjoy uh, RC content, maybe uh, stick around because I'll be posting a lot more about this vehicle. Signing off. This might take a while.